These are, of course, critical to our food supply, pollinating our fruits and vegetables. And the Buffalo Bayou Partnership is holding a special event this weekend to help us better understand them. It's called Bees on Buffalo Bayou, and Joe Sam got up close and pretty personal with hundreds, if not thousands of bees ahead of this event. Okay, Joe, I know you were nervous. A little <laughs> bit, right? Just a little bit nervous, but you know what, you guys? I did get up close and personal with a thousands of these bees, and I did so to help everyone get a better understanding of bees. Although you won't be able to get as close as I did, you'll definitely learn about the life of bees at this event and understand why it's starting up a bus around town. There's a lot of buzz around town about the sweet things happening at Buffalo Bayou. We're here with Trudy Smith with the Buffalo Bayou Partnership to talk a little bit more about the events that you guys have coming up. This is going to be exciting for a lot of people. Tell us what they are. It will be, Joe. And we've been busy bees at mm -hmm. Buffalo Bayou Partnership. We're going to um, learn all about bees. You'll be able to see bees up close. Wow. We'll have kids crafts. Um, we're working with the Architecture Center Houston with a Lunch and Learn series and all about beekeeping if you wanted to to start your own beehive. Mm -hmm. Why do you think this is so important for families to take part in? Well, it's important because so much of our produce is because of the bees. Mm -hmm. And we are making sure that we highlight how to increase the bee population and what you can do because our bees are decreasing. So we are teaching people the importance through pollinator walks and making sure that you can plant those plants that will increase bees. Someone that knows all about bees is Robbie Robinson, a local fourth generation beekeeper. Well, I've been around bees since I was a toddler. Uh, my grandfather ran a lot of beehives, so I don't really know life without bees. What is the process like taking care of these bees? Well, bees have gotten a little harder to take care of in, in later years because there's, there's been introduced some uh, mites from uh, across the world that we didn't have when I was younger. So you used to just be able to have bees and they took care of themselves, but now you have to monitor the bees and, and watch the mite levels in them to keep them alive. And uh, commercial beekeepers lose about 40% of their hives every year. Most people don't realize that. What I didn't realize was that outside of this family-friendly learning experience with Buffalo Bayou, you can get extremely up close and personal with these pollinators in Katy. With the help of Bee Exotic Works, Katy Busy Bee, and Grace Fellowship, where I braced myself to get hundreds of bees placed on my body. They first strapped the queen bee to my chin after greasing the areas of my face that were off limits, plugged my nose and ears with breathable foam, and taped down my neck area so none of the bees would get busy down my shirt. The key was to stay calm as the bees swarmed all over me, and I did so because bees can sense fear and are not out to sting you unless they feel attacked. After 10 minutes of having my sweet bee beard, I felt a connection with these busy creatures and now understand what the buzz is all about. <laughs> Yeah, caution for sure is what you're going to need if you're going to be doing a bee beard. Now, the free event kicks off Saturday morning from 9 to 11 at Buffalo Bend Nature Park. Again, you won't be able to get as close in that bee beard that I did for safety reasons, but there'll be plenty of activities for the entire family. Of course, I'm going to have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv, with more of that information. Okay, you guys, are you creeped out? <laughs> no, I think it's fascinating, and I love how, you know, you just, you found your center there and you stayed calm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, though, because you were just talking about the, the the sound yes. of those thousands of bees. And I the didn't, those thousands of little legs crawling all over me. I mean, right now, I just want to do that to you because that's all I'm hearing, you know? I think I would have maybe a, just a little bit of a panic attack. Yeah. Why not just wear a bee suit? Th yeah, uh, that is another suggestion for a lot of people, and you can do that, but I think there's a way that others just get really excited and that adventure and uh, adrenaline rush that you get without having the bee suit on, having that, those bees just crawl on on you. So if you want to do it, there's a sign up at the event to where okay. you can go and do this yourself if you guys are a little adventurous. How many bee stings did you get? I only got one. So one right here that was right on my hand and because it was only because I had crushed the bee in my hand. I thought I had all of them off of me, but right. I crushed it so it bit me. And as soon as it did, I ran out because I thought the rest of them were going to come and swarm me. So <laughs> like, like a cartoon. Gotta go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, listen, you checked the box. It's fantastic. What a cool story. Oh, thank you guys so much. And I survived. You did. And a really cool <laughs> event. I'm glad they're doing it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, right. Joe. Thanks. No problem. Well, still ahead.